Hello again. It's Mallow Cat. And as you can see, once again, we have Orwell. This is part two of the series that I'm doing on this game. I don't think it needs any more introduction than this. <sighs> yes, 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 I remember. Episode 2, A Place Where There Is No Darkness. Welcome back. I hope you don't mind if we get started right away. We have tons of work ahead of us. I met with my superiors, and they wish to continue with the test case. They believe in the capability of Orwell to handle this. Oh, and you, of course. You have so much confidence in me, I can feel it. My superiors agree with me. Based on the information you have already extracted, the activist group known as Thought is worth investigating. It seems that this Goldfells is an important member of Thought, so we now have clearance to consider them as a target person. Hmm. Now that Goldfells is a target person, there may be new data chunks available in documents you have already accessed. Don't forget to go back and recheck your sources. Hmm. All right then. Connection between Bonton bombings of evidence. Attacks against Stelligan University in Bonton and Freedom Plaza are connected, experts conclude. The bombing that occurred yesterday at Stelligan University seems to be connected to the attack against the Freedom Plaza earlier this week. This is the conclusion of the police division who is investigating the cases. In both assaults, a similar explosive device created with pure malevolence appeared to have been used, police spokeswoman Steele said. The letters received prior to the assaults seem to support this suspicion, while their meaning is still puzzling investigators. According to rumors, people have been theorizing the number of stanzas might represent the number of bombings, which in turn raises the question whether there might be another bombing yet to occur. We understand that some people jump to this conclusion, but there is no good reason to believe this, Steele answered when confronted with this theory during a press conference. Meanwhile, Stelligan University has declared that normal operation cannot continue under the circumstances, so they will be closing their doors for the time being. The university has also put up a special front page to pay their respects to the assault's victims.
Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Could there be anything in here, maybe? No. <laughs> I think I may have found something. Oh god, is this guy gonna be a xenophobic bastard? Goldfels is the one who created the blog. Perhaps he found it, or even was the leader of the activist group. Well, aren't you a bright one? <laughs> Uh, yeah, 
this guy I was just now. Which means this one. Thought must change direction. I thoroughly believed we were able to capture minds. If only we could garner attention on Thought as a group, and what we stand for. It seems that my ambition was once again too much. After one and a half years, recruiting many of my students and arranging three demonstrations like the one held at Freedom Plaza, uh, um, I feel obligated to ask myself where we stand. Have we reached our goal? What has been sacrificed along the way? In short, are we true to the initial goal that formed the group? Frankly, and sadly, the answer to the latter is a resounding no. We let ourselves be consumed by anger and hatred toward those who thought to do us wrong. Towards those we thought to do us wrong. Wow. Thoughts are free, but does but that does in no way mean that they can attack and do whatever we, they wish. Instead of blaming others, I now see my high aims might well be the cause for all the events of the past months. More than anyone else have thought, I feel responsible. As a consequence, I will halt my active engagement in this group. I firmly believe it shall be the better for the better of everyone involved, especially my students from Stelligan. Mm. Yes, indeed, the same Stelligan where a bomb just exploded. Fuck you and your coincidences. Looks like he hasn't heard what happened. Hmm. <sighs> he has no idea. Look at the news, dumbass! Hmm. 
Come on. There we go. Did you notice the bombing location seemed to be closely connected with the Thought members? It could be a pattern emerging. Thought has held three demonstrations, yet there have only been two bombings, which might imply... Well, it's definitely a shot in the dark, but we absolutely need to do everything we can to prevent another attack. Take a close look at the past of each member of Thought. Find out the locations of all demos they have held. That might yield a hint. Member of an ethical congress. Yes, you can read too, I see. Really? Really? Go fuck yourself. Oops, I didn't see that. She was a friend of Miss Watergate. Now it also appears that she was a student of Abraham Goldfell's. I think that's enough to warrant a report. Give me a few minutes. All right, we have authorization to investigate Miss Carrington. Wow. I'm waiting for this jackass to have something to say to me again. I wasn't paying attention and didn't realize what I just did.
<laughs> I'm doing this on purpose because you're a jackass. Oh, come on, I'm clicking. Why aren't you dragging? Touchpad. Yes, I do. Everything is relevant. People are just sick of jackasses like you. I'll look at the listener later. Okay, I guess I'll look at the listener now. Welcome to Rosentech. This is PR assistant Juliet Carrington speaking. How may I be of sir? Hello, Juliet Carrington. This is Esther. You sound so official at work. Oh, uh, hi, Mum. Is this important? You know, I can't take personal calls while I'm at work. Just wanted to check in and make sure are you home for dinner tonight. Uh, actually, I'm heading out with some friends from work. This is some time for some Bonton clubbing. Please don't. On the news, they said it would be advisable to avoid public places. They expect another bombing. Uh, I can't sit at home with you every night. That's exactly what those terrorists want us to do, is avoid public life. Uh, you won't have much freedom left if you're dead. I won't die. I'm sure that I could just as easily be hit by a car on my way home to your lovely dinner. Don't say that, just think this ridiculous script's got me in nothing but trouble.
Okay, hmm. that was a thing. Is there something new here then? Oops. Anything else? I don't want to do anything with Harrison's timeline right now. We are the track you are ashamed of in your fine-tuned playlist. The unexplainable gap in your seemingly flawless CV. Your drunken selfie in your timeline's profile. Wow, I'm not even going to read that one. I've got all my windows open. <laughs> All you're getting is his name. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> I'm an Anything here? Mm, albums. That's not bad.
Something in listener, I see. I can do here. Let's see what happens here. Come on, stop being a little bitch mouse. is being a little bitch. Mm. 
Okay, now I have to go back to... If you knew what I know, what you knew, know about what this little group of yours did, you'd find it just as hard to ignore those bombs. Might just carry your name tag. Get. Oh my god. This is a Harrison O'Donnell update. And it's painful to read. It's about you being a little bitch.
course you got a green light. Start data trunks in here. Still another chunk that I'm missing. Or two.
Hmm. Intriguing. Something I'm still missing. Damn it, I'm gonna have to. Shit! Interesting. Hmm. Weird. There's gotta be something. This is going to be interesting.
Oops. Ah, shit. Well, that was a thing. Sorry. Apparently, I was getting a phone call. Anyway. I don't know what happened yet. I'm going to have to go back through the chat log. Okay. What it says right here in this profile, you know, in accordance with the safety pro So the this is a choke. See what's going on now. Well, that was episode two of Orwell. I feel dirtier and dirtier every time I play this game. Y'all better thank me by the time I'm done. Good night. <laughs>